this is the midway chuck of the X uh, red blue worm bin. And I think it's totally uh, red wigglers, but haven't determined what type yet. I never will, but we'll just keep them like this for now. Let me eventually put them in my other bin. Remember, these were the roamers that were on the side of my uh, hungry bin that I took out. What do you think? Isenia fetida or Isenia. Oh, what's that other word? Oops. Okay, let's check this out. I can't think of the word. <laughs> fetida. Look at this. Remember this? This was one of the first things put in the bin. It's eventually decomposing. Oh, watermelon. Looks like they're still working on it. I will leave it. Actually, I will aerate it a little bit because it's starting to smell. Still don't see any babies. Okay, let me check this side. There's some that have congregated here. to be a little bit better. See, I'm, I'm not sure if I should feed them like her yet or not. I think I'll wait a little while more since this is just a uh, midweek check. I will wait to feed them. Nets. I think the nets have infiltrated my bins. Okay, this one isn't as bad though as the others, so I will wait. I won't put any neem seal. I want to make sure that it really does work. for coming on this journey with me. OK, 
Okay, this is the weekly check on, I, used, they, I thought they were blue ones, but they're not really blue ones. They're really red wigglers of some sort. Don't know if it's Asenia Fetida or Asenia Andre, with it being um, Thanksgiving. I, and with all the things that's going on with Thanksgiving, I haven't had time to uh, research it very well. To come to a conclusion, what type of worms these uh, red wigglers, red worms are, <clears throat> but for sure they're not um, blue worms. Here's one. Tell them it looks like, and it also has a yellow tail. I can't, it looks like it's striped, striped tail. I don't know if you can see that. And the head is striped. Okay. was watermelon. Looks like it has a couple of pot worms on his body. right up here. All right. For those who were have been asking me how come you only do part of the bin and how come you only do part of the bin well prior I had only 30 worms when I started and it looks like I still only have 30 worms <clears throat> but uh, since they're the red wigglers it's given me pause to think they probably need a different environment other than just um, moist cardboard in order to uh, reproduce because I've seen these before with raised clitellum. However, I haven't seen any cocoons. I haven't seen any babies. Um, and I should have seen something by now. This bin was started on September 16 of 2018. And to have no young ones yet, that's kind of strange to me. So I am giving them more environment here adding to their environment um, so maybe we'll see improvement in pre reproduction here all right doesn't look like they have, like they have any other food left I'm going to feed right here. And give them some handful of dry bedding. And frozen cantaloupe rind. The usual Coral calcium powder, neem seed meal, 
Maybe I should turn this upside down. Probably doesn't matter. It'll deflate anyways once it's defrosted. And warm chow. My homemade warm chow. Okay, and then on top of that is some moist bedding. Let's see how they do with this. And existing bedding to make up the difference. Go ahead and wet, wet this all down. There's a marker where I fed them. the bin and thank you for coming on this journey with me.